Hi, I'm Joel from Weiss, and I'm sharing some quick tips to get the most out of your automation projects. Now, rotary tables, indexers, or dials, however you label them, provide a great method to fit multiple processes around a small footprint. They can be standalone systems or allow you to take processes like assembly, inspection, testing, things like that, to the outside of something like a linear transfer system. Now, these types of applications typically range from smaller dials like this ST75 unit from Weiss, all the way up to larger systems that can accommodate dial plates that are several meters in diameter. Now, sometimes it's just due to part or fixturing sizes, uh, or others just due to the number of stations and processes that have to fit around the outside of the system. So with all of the equipment around the exterior of the dial and most work cells, you can be left with a lot of unused and valuable real estate in the center of the dial. So instead, let me show you how you can put that space to work for you, shrinking your footprint and making the equipment easier to use. So there are two different types of solutions that we'll talk about. First up, we have our standard stationary post on our TC or NC series units. And you can mount a fixed dial plate to that, allowing you to have tooling on the inside of the dial facing out. So things like pick and places, handling systems, uh, vision or test equipment, and a variety of other different types of processing equipment can be mounted directly here in that center stationary post. And then have that services that required to operate them feed back down through the large center opening in the middle of the unit. In this example, we'll take one of our TC units and mount it to our base frame. Then we'll add the finished dial plate along with the parts and fixtures. Now this may be all you need, but you'll see when we add the stationary plate on the top, now you have a surface to mount additional tooling to. In fact, Weiss can provide all of the subsystem you see here, machined, finished, assembled, and tested to your specific requirements, allowing you to focus on the integration aspect of the tooling and the processes. With this configuration, only the tooling mounted to the red plate will move. The rest is available for you to utilize, like in this application, where we have several Weiss HP series pick and place units mounted around the unit and also in the center area. This is actually one of our flex dial machines. If you need more space, maybe a significantly larger diameter system, or have heavier duty fabrications or larger robots in the middle, you could also consider a ring style rotary table like the Weiss TR or NR series units. These large open center units allow for many different innovative concepts that can give you a unique advantage in your system. Now by taking advantage of that center space in your indexer applications, you can help to shrink the footprint of your equipment and allow for better access to areas of the machine that require more frequent maintenance or have changeover tooling, which will be facing from the center out, making them easier for people to work on or access when required, saving that team valuable time. So I hope you found these tips useful. Let us know what questions or comments you have about dial-based systems. We would definitely love to hear from you and talk more about your ideas and plans for your next automated project. Thanks for watching.